Hello everybody, welcome to the OADRC. I'm Craig. It is time for round one, match two on the Orchard Raceway this week. And we've got the Mad Bull up against the Grasshopper. Now the Grasshopper is a original Grasshopper chassis. It's a Riri body shell um, rocking a 380 motor. And the Mad Bull is a uh, Riri Mad Bull with a fighter buggy RX uh, body set on top, rocking a torque tuned motor. And this one goes like the absolute stink. It is a fantastic, uh, great, fun bash Tamiya RC. Uh, and that thing is a grasshopper. And if I'm honest, my money is on this. However, However, this really does struggle to turn. And if I can control it out in the Orchard Raceway, it'll beat the grasshopper hands down. If it was a race in a straight line, this would be winning. But because it's actually got to go around some corners, I've got a sneaking suspicion that it's not going to fare quite as well as that thing. But hey, we're here to find out, right? Let's see how we get on. Let's hit the track. We'll come back at the end for a little debrief. See you in a bit.
there we go. The bad ball wasn't really even in the race, was it? Um, as I quite rightly predicted, almost impossible to get that thing going around the turns in, in a quick way, in a smooth way. Um, and ultimately, you know, ended up with a, a plus 10 second lap. And this thing did pretty good, didn't it? So we squeezed out, I think it was an 817 that was the fastest lap by the Grasshopper. Which, interestingly, was quicker around the track than the DTO3 last week, or the other week. Um, which, again, I think that tells me how good the Hopper chassis can be in tight environments. Because it's really easy to drive it, it's really consistent. The 380 motor gives it loads of control out on the rough stuff. You know, I mean, look at that diff. That is not a tight diff, is it, back there? Um... The Orchard Raceway replicates what an old, dirty, dusty 1980s RC track would have been. They weren't like these beautiful, smooth, manicured tracks. They were undulating. They were rough. Um, they weren't asphalt. They were they, they weren't they weren't astroturf. They were just really nasty, rutty RC tracks, and that's why. You know, this is what was out there at the time running on those RC tracks. A, a grasshopper and a hot shot and those types of cars. So I think that's probably why they do so well out on the Orchard Raceway. I'm pleased to see this get through to round two. I'm looking forward to driving it again. I love driving a grasshopper. Um, I like a Hornet a little bit better. This one has those oil filled shocks at the back. Uh, so that does help a little bit. I would love to get one with some oil fields on the front because these spring suspensions, I mean, basically, there is no suspension at the front look at that this side goes this side oh it does it does i was holding at the top so that is the front suspension look at that all part of the character um i'd love to get one with some proper cvas on the front that maybe sort of sorted that out a little bit i think i've got a grasshopper too somewhere that you know we might swap out with this at some point but i love the fact that this the gearbox the the, the chassis tray the servos, the mod, it's got modern electronics, so that's not, you know, 1980s stuff in there. And those uh, shocks at the back are JKRC shocks, so, you know, they're modded shocks at the back just to give it a little bit extra. But, you know, the rest of this interior bit here is all those front shocks are from, uh, from the 1980s. Look at those, 1984 they'd have been. Still going strong, still giving me fun. And that's what's great about these cars, isn't it? Is they're still rocking and rolling many, many years, years later. So, hey, let's get this out for round two. Uh, up next is... I can't remember what's up next. Um, it's the... Oh, I do know what's up next. It's the hot shot against the pump box. We all know who's winning that one. You know, I'll put the poll out, but if I don't get 100% votes for the hot shot... I'll be very, very, very surprised. So, uh, yeah, let's get the poll up in a week's time. And we'll see what you guys think of that matchup. And, yeah, looking forward to that. Because I love driving the hot shot. Right, guys, see you all soon. Bye for now.